good evening welcome back to Gigi's garden remember guys click like and subscribe you know leave a comment you know I'm just I love to hear from you guys so I'm standing in the garden first of all I planted out all of the rest of the tomatoes I had it must have been about 10 tomato plants that I had in the left that needed to be planted they were looking pretty sad um, I got a bunch of them from my friend Erin um, she just had them like growing hydroponically so they were you know easy to tease apart you know even though they were getting root bound in the cup that they were in but it was easy to tease them apart because she had them um, in grown in water now I had three better boys and um, those roots were so dry that that poor tomato them poor tomato plants looked just horrible but instead of ripping them apart because I couldn't really get them ripped apart so I just loosened the dirt as much as I could I stuck them in super deep spread them apart and just piled dirt on top of them and I laid them down so they will root I, I believe they'll be okay um, it's it's dark I got a little pain right here in my ear because chemtrails went past about 10 minutes ago I don't care what nobody say <laughs> don't tell me I'm crazy I won't tell you you're crazy all I know they go past I don't feel good but I was fine five minutes before they got here right so I got my sprinkler over there I planted stuff in this bed the other day never watered it came back to plant on tomatoes today and they're already sprouting things are already sprouting have not been watered <laughs> bed was drier than the Mojave Desert so I'm gonna leave that on there I'm gonna let that get good and good and good and good and saturated um, before I move it or before I even um, <sighs> I hear the babies chirping the, um, they're all in the they're all trying to go to bed and the big chickens are beating up on them but you know y'all gonna learn today they're gonna, <laughs> somebody gotta protect them the ducks was doing a good job but now they ain't I don't know what's going on they started beating up on the ducks that's what happened <laughs> so we're gonna get that good and saturated because I planted out Get out of my garden. I'm a, these cats, I'm telling you, they done knocked down one of my corns. I had my corn on the cows. I had to sit it back up and put a bunch of dirt around it. So, <laughs> I'm going to let that get good and saturated because I already got things, the seeds that I put in there and most of my seeds that I got in there are from Baker's Creek. And the only thing that I had problems with from Baker's Creek was some of the more um, elaborate basil like you know the basil from Ghana or the basil from Egypt you know things like that did not grow well for me but I also can't even say that because my neighbor's dog did, did that's the same time he dug she dug up the onion bed and she dug up my basil bed after that so we're just gonna let everything get watered um, I do get basil sprinkled all through that bed I have basil sprinkled all through here I'm, I'm just waiting to see them little things pop up. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm going to do a lot of drying of basil this year so I can have fresh bagel, fresh basil to put in all of my food because I love cooking with basil. Basil, onions, garlic, honey, that's my base right there. So that's what we're going to do. And in about 45 minutes, I'm going to move these sprinklers because like this bed back here, right here, is not getting any water that bed right there not getting hardly anything and that one there is not hardly getting anything and usually that sprinkler way over there if i put it strategically it can it waters a lot of stuff here and that one too so i'll come out in about 45 minutes about an hour and i'll move them around i'm, I'm gonna hate to do it because it's gonna be dark but i'm gonna do it anyway because i know i gotta get this stuff watered because it is pretty pretty dry and it's going to be 95 tomorrow so I'm gonna get all this stuff watered and then I'm going to move my waterers around and go ahead and let my other stuff get watered and then tomorrow and <laughs> before it gets really hot I'm gonna um, spray my BT because that cabbage moth has been busy out here honey that little white butterfly that little cabbage moth right there that, that sucker has been busy so after I spray with my BT, 
I am going to go ahead and put my tool over over top of my um, brassica so that um, so that she doesn't get them anymore. So there was like four of them out here the other day, and I was just watching them. You know, eh, what, you, what can you what, what you gonna do? <laughs> you know, eh. So I do have. I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> Which I need to get them out here. I bought um, some cucumber starts, and I promise you, I don't know what I did with them. They might be under my seat in my truck. I'm gonna hope not, because that truck has been through some stuff this weekend. So we won't see. <laughs> Stop fighting, boys. I fight when I'm not around. I don't care. What'd you do? Still got chicken food on the truck. Oh. Okay. So let me get in here. I thought I took them out and sat them to the side. I guess I didn't. Well, Lord, if they in this truck. Lord, help me. If they is still in this truck. I don't see, I don't see them. I don't see them. They ain't in the truck. Where would I do with them? I don't know. I thought I brought them out and set them on the table. I don't know where they at. How you lose a whole four pack of starts? I'm telling you, you sabotage my somebody sabotaged me. It might be my own critical brain. So <laughs> let me see. I thought I took them out. That's so much junk around here. I'm going this is me checking the truck again. This time, they're not under the seat. <laughs> I don't know what I did with my start. I don't know what I did with them. Uh, so, tomorrow when it's light out here, I'll come out and I'll look. Because I swear I took them out and sat them on top of something. They could be out there in the garden for all I know. Just sitting there waiting to be planted. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I might find them. No, it's going to bother me. It's going to bother me till I find them. Because I swear I set them on this table. You can't see. I'm sorry. It's dark. Let me see if I set them out here. Oh, I did. I did set them out here. <sighs> this is me. I'm trying to make sure I get them. Close. Is that all I bought? It's only three. My um brain is gone. So I'm gonna set them right here so they can get a little bit of water because they dried out. They was already sad when I bought them. I'm gonna sit down there and let them get water. And then oh, I know I only bought three because they said they were bush cucumbers and I wanted to plant some market more. So I have some market more seeds. So I only bought planted. I, I bought a small start of three. Okay, and then so I'll plant those starts and then I'll plant the market more right beside them. And but the market more will be seeds and the market more will come up later after those. So and those are already tall, so <sighs> it'll be okay. But I'm also gonna plant loofah. I already told you guys I got my little arches up. I'm gonna go ahead and plant me some loofah. So it'll be um so it'll grow up and over and across the arch, hopefully. I have enough space. For them to grow and just spread and that's that's what i'm hoping so i don't know i got some more stuff i need to put in that um bed i'm just excited to be able to have my bed started <laughs> and filled up and ah uh, it's just wonderful it's just wonderful i'm telling you so grow you some food man if you can grow you a little bit just grow you a little bit just grow a little bit that's all you ain't got to go you ain't got to grow a, a, a market garden or nothing like that, a two-acre garden. Just take you a little bit in and grow you a little bit. Take a corner and grow you about seven, eight things in it. You can do it. Crowd them out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I just thought of something else. I got a little trellis right there. I might put me a little cucumber over there in that little trellis area. Mm-hmm. 
Got that little black shellish right there. You can barely see it. I'm going to move it over. Put a cucumber on that. That's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know what, guys? Go ahead and grow something. Make sure you be kind to one another. You know, it's free. And I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Pray for your friends. Pray for your family. Definitely pray for your enemies because everybody needs help out here. You know, um, the forgiveness that you extend is the forgiveness that God will look at. So, you know, that's the same kind of forgiveness that he'll extend to you. So try to be nice. Try to be kind. Forgive one another. We all going through something. We all doing something. Boy, have a good night. And be kind. It's free. Thanks for joining Gigi and Gigi's Garden. Remember to like and subscribe. And have a good night.